All right, it's the new at two. I'm Brianna, Proud 106, LA's number one for hip hop. Very excited because Buddy is here. He's in the building. <laughs> what up? Very excited for you to be here. I had the pleasure and honor of being with you in your studio and actually listening to the entire album. I pressed play on you, huh? You did. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You did. Uh-huh. And I don't want to talk too much. I don't want to be a spoiler, but I think that just the vibe that the entire album has is just so refreshing. And I know it took you, what, four years to create? that yeah i've been making music a long time yeah Mm -hmm. yeah so just take me back i know you're from compton i know you're from la i just want our listeners to really just like i feel like this is like a revival at this point like you're coming back and you're coming strong yeah i grew up in compton harlan in the laundry that was the first album and it aged well like fine wine actually (laughs) people still listen to it like it's new album and i feel so blessed to just have a fan base you know yeah. what i mean and i just really give it my all with this music so i wasn't really trying to take my time and just make the best music i could make mm-hmm. and plus the pandemic happened so yeah right. i put it on ice and then i opened it back up and made some new songs to try to like i don't know make it more current yeah and i just have no doubts in the music it's just so tight i can't wait to drop do you feel like because of the pandemic it changed your sound at all or the process of just working through your sound like changed at all? Uh-uh, nah. I, I just be vibing for real. I yeah. just gave me more time to pick more better beats, you know <laughs> what I mean, and make better rap songs and yeah. sing and stuff. And I know, too, you know, you were friends with such a legend and icon, you know, Rest in Paradise, Nipsey Hussle. Just talk to me about how that came about, the collaboration of just, like, how you guys met. Because not a lot of young people, especially from L.A., got to work with him as closely as you did. Uh, how did it happen? I was, uh, I had pulled up on my guy Mars first. Oh, and no. then I was weedless. He invited the weed man over <laughs> Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread came. He gave me some weed. Then I got some more weed from Wonder Bread to take to Hawaii for my 21st birthday. Wow. And I took my sister. And then after I got the weed from Wonder Bread, he took me down the street because he had to get some weed to Mike and Keys. And Mike and Keys had the studio with Nipsey. And I just started making music with Mike and Keys. And I would go there every day. And Nipsey would be there every day. And we just was kind of like, it was like a studio compound. It just like me and all the cribs kind of just working on music, making the best music ever, reading books watching documentaries and just growing as artists together, wow. you know? What advice did Nip give you? Because I feel like he that man is just so smart, you know? I mean, he kind of led by example. So, like, I would walk in certain days and it would be books on the table, a documentary wow. playing, like, deep conversations being had, you know what I mean? And just stuff like, just learning. He's, like, the craziest, most in-depth thing I think I ever took away was him to, like, learn something because, mm. so, you know what I mean? It's never too late to learn. So what exactly did he want you to learn? Like, did he just want you to just read books and just try to like yeah, just tap expand into the, the mind or? and just know stuff? You know, he had a book list for sure, and yeah, just learn anything and everything you can, anything that interests you, just know about it fully. Yeah. Do you feel like you're still taking that with you to this day? Like, are you learning things? Yeah, slowly but surely. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm moving my own pace. God's time. You know. <laughs> what have you been learning recently? Any some Spanish? I, Are we gonna get that on the album? I'm really trying to learn how to play the guitar. Really? I, yeah. Uh, Steve Lacey gave me a guitar like three years ago, and I still don't know how to play it. Every time I see him, he be asking me if I learned how to play. I've been learning how to try to learn how to play "Love and Happiness" on the guitar. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. That's crazy. We've got to get that, especially now that you're going to be performing in front of a live audience. That's going to be so exciting. How do you feel like, you know, you being able to perform your music in front of a live audience after so long, especially coming out of this pandemic? I'm very excited. (laughs) I'm putting the band together. I'm actually performing later in Lemert at her room with 1500 or nothing. It's going to be so tight. We did rehearsal (laughs) and I just rap really good. (laughs) Yeah. I'm excited to perform. (laughs) I feel like that's just one thing that we're all so excited about, just the fact that we can, like, actually see our our friends, our family, and hear good music live. So I'm really excited to see that. And speaking of which, you have a fire song with Blast. It's way too long. First single. First single. Yes, new album, (laughs) Super Ghetto, March 25th. (laughs) What do you want your fans to feel when they hear this song with Blast? I want my fans to feel like they... in. On the freeway, no traffic, on a beautiful hot day in L.A., either headed to or from the beach. You know what I mean? That's what I wanted to feel like. A low rider, topless, bouncing. (laughs) 
down to 110. And then how did it come about? Because you and Blast, you guys are both LA natives. So how, did you guys know each other prior or how did you guys? Know? Yeah, I always run into Blast since the beginning of time in Compton, working with like, you know, local artists from LA. And to see him just like grow into his own lane and carve his own thing in the industry, he's just a Blast now. <laughs> It's just yeah. very inspiring, you know? He's but every it. time we work together and link up, he always remind me of how like much of a fan he is of my my stuff and what I be doing. So when we came together, we was working with um Hollywood Cole, yeah, who made the heck out of that beat. Yeah. Oh my god. And he remade it a couple times too. And it just sounds so tight. Yeah, you had a lot of dope producers, by the way, too. I know a friend of mine, Leon Thomas, mm -hmm. he did one of the records on yeah, there, Yeah, him and Foley, yup. Yeah. It's cracking. So you've just been doing it. I'm very excited to play your record. Before we go ahead and introduce this new record, is there anything that you want to tell your fans that we missed out on that we haven't talked about? Uh, I'm sorry I made y'all wait too long. You have such a great personality. Have you ever thought about acting before? I just did uh, Bel Air on Peacock. My what? episode dropped today, season one, episode four. That's I'm exciting. playing myself, which is hard. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go check it out. I'm on the TV. I you called know. my mama. Was this your first acting gig ever? Uh, no, nah, I did background work. I was in Starsky and Hutch, you know. Uh, I was trained by the best, Wendy Raquel Robinson. That's awesome. AGC back in the day. If you know, you know. You went to performing arts high school, right? Uh-huh, yeah. Renaissance High. Yeah. Long Beach. Yep. How was that? I did some plays and drew some stuff and was singing. It was tight. Yeah. Do you feel like you'll get back into like doing theater? Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm down. Have you taken? I think some I could take classes? it to Broadway. Yeah. It's been a minute, but I feel like you know I could get it. I feel like you can too. You have such a like a great personality. I I'm feel charismatic. Like yes. I'm charismatic. And a little animated. Yeah. <laughs> I can see you doing like voiceovers for like cartoons as well. I'm so down. Yeah. <laughs> so what? And speaking of which, your album, Super Ghetto. Super Ghetto, the album. Yes. It yeah. has a lot of personality. I feel like the vibe of every single song has its own, like, mood. Yeah. Without saying too much, what can you tell your your fans just about the album? Like, what should they anticipate? Well, uh, Hoochie Mama is crazy. I feel like that's, like, the bait. It's, like, ghetto bait. It's, like, ghetto ratchet You know fun. what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. really ratchet, ghetto fun, <laughs> but still, like... Excuse me. It's still inviting and stuff, you know? Right. But then, like, once you get into the album, it's just, like, so many different aspects of, like, my experience and my perspective on yeah. being from the ghetto and just having that whole essence in me and not on me, taking it wherever I go, mm -hmm. making everybody else just adjust to what I got going on. And talk to me just even, too, just being raised from Compton. Like, I feel like... Whenever you hear Compton, everyone's like, oh, my God, so scared. Especially, like, me being from Chicago, people mm -hmm. are like, oh, Chirac. We don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear anything negative. I'm trying to represent for my city. So, yeah. And I know you always put Compton on the map, so just let us know. I just feel like, you know, every hood is the same. It's always going to be some bad stuff happening, violence, robbery, gang stuff. That's all over the place, you yeah. know. But I was raised by both parents. And they did everything they could do that I could just live the best life that I've lived. And I have succeeded in you know what I mean? Took yeah. advantage of every opportunity I ever had. I never really held on to the bad aspects of where I grew up. You know, I was As really trying should. to shine a light on the good parts. Yeah. And I feel like you talk a lot about that um, in your album. What yeah. is one of your favorite songs on the album that you made and you just love? I feel like you really love every single song, as you should. But well, it has I'm putting the one. deluxe together, so I just like making new songs, you know? So the okay. newer songs are normally my favorite. You yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. I've been sitting with the first half of the album, and then this deluxe is just something completely different. So to have, like, I can't, re it's hard to pick. I don't yeah. really know. Just all of them. And just, when when is the album going to be dropping? I think Hoochie Mama is my favorite. I ain't going to lie. I feel like that, too. Hoochie Mama is probably my favorite song. Yeah? Yeah. And then when does it drop one more time? Let them know. March 25th, my sophomore album, Super Ghetto, is releasing. March 25th, LA. Whoever birthday that is, that. you're welcome. <laughs> It's going to be an honor. Well, I appreciate you for tapping in with me, buddy. No doubt. Thank you, Brianna. Yes, I appreciate it. No doubt. <laughs>